So one of the biggest questions to ask on Thanksgiving is who's going to carve the turkey? We're actually going to carve the turkey before we cook it. So when the bird actually comes to the table, it's now going to be who's going to slice the turkey. So you can take that whole intimidation factor out of it. By breaking it down into parts, we're going to cook them all in separate parts anyway because we want to achieve different cooking temperatures in each part of the turkey so that at the end we have perfectly cooked turkey no matter what part of it it actually is. All right, first thing we're going to do is take the thighs and legs off of the carcass. We're going to do that by splitting right in between the, the leg, thigh, and breast. We're going to pierce the skin but as close to the thigh as possible because we want to leave the skin that's on the breast intact. Pop the joint like that. Take your knife and run it down the carcass like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Next thing we're going to do is split these rib cages a little bit right here and just pop that back. Take your shears, cut this part off and save that for gravy. Flip it back over. Make sure that skin's intact. Take the shears, split the inside. Right along that cage. And again, all this stuff we're going to save to make, make our sauce later. Next thing we're going to do is take the wings off. We're going to save those for sauce too. Flip the bird over. Take your cleaver and just split that bone right there that attaches the two breasts together. And this way we're going to separate our two breasts. Because when we roast, when we cook our turkey sous vide, we still want it to be cooking on the bone so all that moisture stays inside. So at this point we can take it and drop it right into our brine. Next we're going to separate the legs from the thighs. Drop the legs right in the brine as well. Last thing we're going to do is take the bones out of the thigh. Run your knife around the, around the, run the knife along the bone and then tuck it underneath and just pull it so you can take that thigh bone right out. And again, you can save that for your gravy as well. And at this point, we're ready to season everything else, bag it, and cook it.